Yarve Yamu Suseri Undra Hamundra Hamu, Rokotori Vesvisiti Echunukutra. Yarve God and Creator, we are standing in awe, thanksgiving, praise, and worship. We come to you with hearts of gratitude for all that your spirit is manifesting in these past weeks. Many people facing for tumultuous situations, the witnessing the miraculous is guided by your hand, your holy and divine grace. We surrender now and submit unto you to seek, know, and embrace the fullness of your wisdom and counsel as we submit ourselves to be freed from all things we have witnessed of this earth and open to the fullness of your power and grace. We breathe as one. We trust you, praise you, and worship you. And I want to just speak directly into the heart of something that has been mentioned a number of times in our calls, but continues to rise repeatedly, especially as I deal with so many people that are in the Christian body that they keep defining as the word. And I want to take people back to how the Bible itself describes the word in John 1.14 from the name of God Bible where it says the word became human and lived among us. We have to look at this very specifically and recognize that the word is the living presence of God manifested in the first vibration of creation when God established an image of self which is Yeshua who became human and lived among us. That very word, that living presence of God that is dwelling within us, Yeshua al-Vies nuku torahamund revies mesiliendra khamun, taught us that this one, this one requires much prayer and meditation. Whenever we were facing something that was not shifting in the nature of prayer, and I want to kind of dial us back over these past few weeks to the importance of understanding how simple this process really is. I didn't say easy. I did say simple. When the living word that is God spoke and said, this one requires much prayer and meditation, it is any time that we face something that we see that is not shifting to become the living nature and attributes that is God. So if you're not able to touch the presence of peace, that clarity, that wisdom, that purity, you must sit in much prayer and meditation, fervent prayer to understand what is stirring within you. It's not what's going wrong in the world. Because you could be sitting in the middle of a battlefield and find absolute peace and know that none of the weapons of man could come against you if you touch the presence of God. However, if you are not touching the presence of God, meaning peace, clarity, unity, order, blessing of abundance, glorified nature of God's glory and presence, having an abundant heart even in the times when the physical lack upon the earth manifests. When you can't touch these things, there's something else stirring within you. Anxiety, self-judgment, fear of failure, lack of worthiness. These are the things that we must pray to release and then meditate upon the presence of God taking hold within these places. Because the other thing that the living word taught us, Yeshua, was that any time we release something of a spirit nature or of a demonic nature, we must welcome the presence of God within this place. And if we do not take the time to meditate upon that, we will be encountered by many of like kind that will return to this place. We must pray to release, meditate to embrace, then move forward in grace. And again, even after the meditation, if we are coming to this place where we cannot touch the attributes of God, of peace, unity, clarity, order, understanding, wisdom, healing, 
restoration and renewal, then we are evidencing within ourselves that we are still holding on to something. It could be super, superimpositions that are arrested upon us by the medical community because we believe their words over the possibility of healing within us that God could dictate. It may be superimpositions by a legal process that tells us a certain outcome is going to be such and such when we feel in God's grace that it's going to be different, but then we fall for the words of counsel that tells us that it can't be. And what I'm trying to help people to understand is the importance that when we seek God, we will recognize the divine order in the process and be able to hold in blessing as these things unfold. We will behold or held within clarity as others dwell within confusion. And we will be the ones blessed and poised to release the spirits of confusion we see governing their actions. And when I'm in the world, it is so easy to fall prey to what we see with our eyes or maybe even turn around and respond to a situation in the ways that I used to respond in the past. It is so easy to get caught up in this place, to react, to be governed by the spiritual things that limit us. However, I find that when I pray first, I find something different happens within me. Yes, in the prayer, I begin to discover things that are going on within me, whether it's anger, frustration, sadness, um, whatever happens to be rising grief. But once I've done that, then I meditate upon God's presence and I draw to the breath of God's Spirit within me. Sometimes it happens within a breath. Sometimes it takes 21 breaths. Sometimes it takes more. But what I find rises in me, words begin to form as defined by God. Not by my experiences, not by what I'm going through, not by what things are being done to me, or by others, individuals casting things upon me. But I find God forming words of life within me. And if I focus and center upon God's presence, I start to realize that these are words God is speaking through me to define me as the man I am to be in God, not the man that was responding from within the earth. So when I tore one of my knees, back when I was asleep, when I was younger, in my 20s, I ended up having to go to surgery. And I had a meniscus surgery, and they cut things out and did all kinds of stuff to my leg. However, a few years ago I tore my knee, but I sent it into prayer. This was the other knee sent it into prayer, sent it upon God's presence, found words rising within me, released any of the anxiety, I re released the memories that I held of having to go through surgery in the past. I have no evidence of what they told me was not correctable without surgery. It is fully restored. And it took me about a year of prayer and meditation upon God's presence. So when Yeshua says this one, this one requires much prayer and fasting, prayer, fasting, and meditation, prayer and fasting, what are we fasting upon? We're fasting upon the spiritual nature. We are not consuming the things of a spiritual nature that move us to a place of hopelessness when the knee tears out and we begin to wonder, oh, well, what can we do to fix this? Oh my God, I've already been through this once. I don't want to have to go through that again. No, we get rid of all of these things, and we embrace the presence of God. We join as one with the living word that is Yeshua's presence, and we seek the word first before we draw to any counsel of the earth, whether it be scriptural counsel, medical counsel, or legal counsel. It is important that we remember that God has equipped us with God's holy presence. So that when we find ourselves falling prey to the things of the earth, falling prey to the limitations we form within ourselves, forming and falling prey to the way we witness ourselves to be of the past, we must be willing to relinquish these things either in totality or one by one, then engage wholly and perfectly before God 
in thanksgiving that you have been freed and cleared of these things and welcome the knowing of God's presence within you. Sit with it. Dwell with it. Become it. Then allow from prayer and fervent release, fasting upon the spiritual nature, moving to a state of meditation. From that meditative awareness, now move into life. Let God bring forth words of life from within you. I am clear. I am hopeful. I am strengthened by God's grace. I am whole. I am complete. My body is strengthened and renewed by the very presence of God within every aspect of my body, but presently now centered upon my knee. And as we do this, this is what will produce the result. And I will give you the caveat. In this earth, in this world the way it is today, there's so much going on within our lives that we don't permit ourselves the time to stop, center upon God's presence. Pray and release, fast upon the spiritual nature, then meditate until God's presence is known within these places. As many of you have witnessed when you call in and we are blessed to be in the prayers of grace healing, when we engage on the phone, we may be processing through with some people, it may be 40 minutes, 50 minutes, some people, it may be an hour and a half because we're peeling down to the layers of the spiritual nature and we come to the full recognition of God's presence within. Once we touch that place where the response is, Breathing deep, what's the first word that comes to mind? They state the word peace or nothing. I don't feel any, I don't feel any words. Okay, great. There's a moment of silence where God dwells. That place of holy and sanctified peace. Resident without concern resident without fear, resident without worry, fully worthy to be sitting in the presence of God. Then we review within the call and come to the words of life that form. Yahweh, I thank you that you have freed me to move in the fullness of your grace and joy. Because in the earlier part of the prayer we were freed from the spirit of sadness. freed from apathy and moved to enthuse, being God-filled, filled with the presence of God to become the very nature of that which God intends us to be, whether it be man or woman, a man embracing the fullness of the masculine and the feminine within, or a woman embracing the fullness of the feminine and the masculine within her to be balanced and ordered as God's presence. This can only come if we engage in much prayer, fasting upon the spiritual nature, then meditate upon God's presence. And I will guarantee you that if you allow yourself this opportunity over these weeks ahead, you will find greater peace as we come to this time, this season of remembrance, this season of holy recollection that's centered upon the most powerful gift to mankind. God forming an image of self through the first utterance of word into creation as he created an image of self, which was Yeshua. To be fully birthed within humanity, a specific time within the development of humanity to speak and bring forth the vibrational awareness of God's presence for all to remember God's presence upon this earth and to know of God's love here and now so that we would remember and recognize what it is to pray fast upon the things that are not of God, then meditate upon God's presence to move forward and reveal his glory to each person we encounter. May you be blessed as this week unfolds. May you be strengthened in knowing God's grace in every breath that you receive. As we at Grace Healing offer thanksgiving for your willingness to join us in these calls and for the beautiful feedback we hear from all those who listen to the recordings throughout the week. And Ida once again sends her love. I had an opportunity to be in prayer with her before the call and extends love and blessing to each and every one of you. And throughout this next week, we'll be forming a message of blessing to each and every one of you as we enter into this season of remembrance for all people, that no matter what their faith practice may be, that they would be returned to the remembrance. They rise from one source, and that one source is the perfect and loving God 
and that the very nature of our God resides within each and every one of us. May you be each blessed in the fullness of God's love, deepened in his grace, restored within unity in all people you deal with, and be blessed in time to be removed from the influences of the earth, freed to prey upon God's presence, freed to develop the habit of fasting upon all things of a spiritual nature and not engaging within them as you meditate and become the living prayer that God defines through the living word that resides within you. Amen. May you, each and every one of you, be blessed through this night or throughout the days as you hear this recording and know that God loves you dearly and that we in Grace Healing love you and look forward to the opportunity to serve you and we will continue to sustain in prayer with each and every one of you throughout this holiday season for all you might experience. Have a blessed and beautiful evening. Take care. <laughs>